Hello, it's an unusual one here. It's not really a kit uh, review, but it's a paint review. Um, so this morning I had the first time I've used extra acrylics by Hannans because uh, Afix, in their wisdom, call out a colour number 233, is it? No, 238. 238. Can you get out of focus? Can you focus? Anytime soon, no auto focus. No, all right, anyway, it says 238. Can you get it anywhere? Can you get it off the Afix uh, uh, Hornby Umbral website? No, you can't find it anywhere. Now, whether they got a problem getting it made or shipped or can't get the can't get enough parts for the paint or whatever the chem chemistry is. I haven't found a 238 uh, paint for sale anywhere and because I can't get about uh, through lack of transport I can't pop to my nearest shop to see it I have to try and buy it online so I thought let's look for an alternative fair enough this is the uh, starter set for the uh, 50th anniversary I've also got a current uh, spread hours kit so, so I buy the uh, alternative advertised on Hannets for uh, red arrows. Come on, focus. I'm gonna seek. Is that gonna focus? No, nope, Mr. Logan, focus. Because I've zoomed up, you see, isn't it? If I was there like that, there we are. See, it's focused now. All right, I'll leave it like that for now and just bring it closer. All right. So back to where I was. Two, three, eight. Extra acrylic. Good. Not a bad brand, I'm sure. Nice and liquid. Looks a bit orangey on there, and there's a good reason for that. Now this camera isn't very great at uh, white balance, so it looks even more orange in there than it is in real life. It's more of a sort of fiery orange in real life so the box provides one of these mini pots you know the type of thing you get this is yellow but you know red is provided and I thought well I got two um, kits two red arrows I want to build this year and that's not gonna be enough so I gotta get another supply so originally I tested it on the that's that's the result from the uh, sample bottle that you get with the starter kit. See it looks fairly red doesn't it? This reasonable colour. So I thought oh, I'll use the uh, red orange colour from... <laughs> it's orange isn't it? The orange arrows. I mean in some photographs the red arrows do, do look a bit orange but uh, that's the first coat so while you're watching, I hope you're watching, please, please keep watching because this is the first live painting I've done on a uh, video. Get a little bit out of the cap rather than dipping it anywhere else. Only that much I'm going to bother using. So I've done a bit on there too as a comparison. So that's how it comes on. It's quite smoothly, you see my technique as well, it comes on quite smoothly. But again, second coat and it's orange whichever way you look at it now maybe in a later day or with another few coats on it'll look more red i'll have to look at my uh my photographs to um see now this is how it goes on um just onto the plastic don't always uh, put primer down i very rarely do Straight on the plastic, see how the coverage is. That's not bad, I think. Paint that on quite easily. I mean, I haven't even washed this for a sprue, but that's quite a thin coat because nice bit of acrylic. It'll, it'll wash off the brush quite easily too, I think. It did before. Um, so there, I don't know what you want to make of that. Whether it's going to be red enough for my wishes 
So you can see now there's a difference there. That's darker definitely than it is the first coat. So a couple of coats it might may, may, might uh, redden up. Hope so because I've got this paint now and I don't want to waste it. Can't just keep it for the the odd kit with a fire orange, but it is at first glance more orange than red. Um, whereas the actual paint supplied has more of a uh, bluish tint, tint than I think it should have. So, especially there. So that's the trouble with uh, the spray teams. They have their special colours. I'll just wipe it with a brush. Get the excess off first. I'll wash this with water. That's all you need with water-based acrylics like this. But there we are. A little bit of a example for you. I'm still gonna. I'm probably gonna stick with stick with it because by the time it's uh, see that's quite. I'm gonna look at that that uh, photographs and red arrows may controversially be more orange than red. So. We'll see. Thank you for listening and watching and uh, bye for now.